As a kid, I never really knew what I wanted to be growing up. But I knew I loved making videos. I didn't know then that I could make that passion a career. Now I'm living the life I always dreamed of and I get to share how I perceive the world with you. I'm going to learn I'm not a filmer yet. And honestly, my younger self would be so proud. If you're new here, my name is Desiree LeCap, aka LeCapture. I'm a filmmaker and content creator sharing all tips, tricks, and hacks with you. And if you're new here, I'm super grateful to have you back. Look, if I was just starting out with videography, photography, or filmmaking, I'm going to share with you some things I wish I knew or someone would have told me. That way, as you're growing as a filmmaker, you could keep these tips in mind. Before we get into that though, I do wanna say I'm a huge advocate for wanting to push people to see their full potential, but I could only lead by example and let you have your butterfly moments. So I wanna tell you, believe in yourself, push yourself and ask yourself, how bad do I want it? And how much am I willing to put in to get there. All right, so you guys will be seeing a ton of the work I did when I first started, things I never released, and the projects I did for myself to experiment what I liked and what I didn't like. Remember that this was my way of expressing myself through this creative craft and gift of mine. So keep that in mind that do it in a way where you could express yourself to the world based on how you perceive things, and that way you're staying true to you. So these tips could really go for anyone starting out, whether you're an aspiring filmmaker, music artist, photographer, painter, really anything. And I'll just be sharing out of experience based on things I wish I knew when I started. We are gonna be starting out strong here, y'all. Number one, embrace failure and learn from it. something we hear a lot nowadays anyway, but I did start a long time ago and I wish I had a mentor to tell me this because we often put ourselves down when we fail and not realizing that that is just a an opportunity to learn. And filmmaking is a creative journey that involves experimentation and taking risks. So don't be afraid to fail because it is through failures that you learn and grow into the creative that you dream to become. So embrace the challenges and setbacks as opportunities for improvement. With that being said, step out of your comfort zone. Try not to stay boxed in because you feel like that's all you know. It honestly took me a while to truly realize what that meant. Instead of nitpicking the projects that you do, being afraid of feedback and opinions, take all the I could have done this or that better thoughts and tell yourself what I didn't do as good this time, I'll definitely do better the next project because I am still learning every single time. You'll never stop learning and that's what will help you grow. So don't be afraid to seek constructive criticism and feedback from others. Honestly, even starting out back then, when I sent out projects or videos that needed feedback, it was always a scary thing to receive whatever they had to say back. But I always kind of looked forward to it because I knew that that criticism from other people helped me grow and to learn what I could do better. Next up, start small and gradually scale up. Instead of attempting to create a grand masterpiece right from the beginning, start with small projects that allow you to learn the fundamentals of your craft. Build your skills and experience over time by gradually taking on more ambitious projects as you gain confidence and expertise. For me, I literally started out with a Canon 70D I bought off Facebook Market with just one 35 millimeter 
prime lens. I brought that almost everywhere with me when I was first starting out, capturing anything and literally everything, whether it was vlogging, capturing my friends and family, going to events and just doing it for free and for fun and everything in between. Instead of wondering where do I start or how do I start, just start. It's as simple as that. And as you continue taking action, the more you adapt and grow, then eventually add the emotional value to your work. That's when it starts to become naturally beautiful. And when you're first starting out, it's important to have fun with it. I've witnessed a few people who are just starting out stress over, oh, I need to get this, I need to do that, I have to do this, I need to color it like this, this and this and this. And you already start to overwhelm yourself by feeling like you need to do a certain thing rather than allowing yourself to just learn, have fun and do it. Start with what you have, right? Don't let the lack of expensive equipment or resources hold you back. Begin with gear and resources that you currently have access to, whether it's a smartphone or a basic used camera. This will allow you to focus on developing your storytelling skills and mastering the fundamentals before investing in more advanced equipment. Like I mentioned, I started with a Canon 70D and one lens. So the best way to start out with pretty affordable gear is buying it used until you're ready to go all in on a brand new one. Say you wanted to become an editor, right? And you're like, I don't have anything to edit. Pull stock footage online and practice editing and slicing them up. There's so many opportunities you can create for yourself, especially when first starting out. So try not to put any limitations on yourself and what you could do. I actually fell in love with filmmaking by starting out as an editor. I basically tried out all types of edits, whether it was pulling stock footage online or adding an obnoxious amount of effects on one video or especially even editing for other people. That really helped me expand my storytelling skills by editing because that is where the magic can happen. You could give 10 different editors the same footage, but they will edit it 10 different ways based on how they perceive the story to be told. Next one, learn by doing. And, um, I'm a visual artist through photography and any types of video forms. I like to put a lot of time and effort in uh, editing to, to bring your vision to life. The best way to learn anything is by actually doing it, right? So the best way to become a filmmaker is by just creating videos in general. So theory is important, but practical experience is invaluable. Start creating short films or even practice scenes to gain hands-on experiences. This is your opportunity to experiment with different techniques, styles, and genres to explore your creative potential. To reiterate, create your own opportunities. There is endless, endless opportunities out there, but you just choose not to see it. If you know somebody who has an interesting life story, create a mini documentary on them. If you have a friend who does music or you have friends who wanna do music videos, create a mock music video. You could even create mock commercials if you wanna get into commercials or create short films with your friends or your family. So many opportunities to gain skills and to expand your creativity. It's really important to cultivate a strong work ethic, set goals for yourself, and strive for excellence in every aspect of your filmmaking. But also, it is important to not be so hard on yourself. As creatives, we tend to have imposter syndrome, and imposter syndrome is a big thing. So it's okay to have moments where you feel like your work isn't good enough. Next, stay true to your artistic vision. While it's important to learn from others and be open to collaboration, it's equally crucial to stay true to your artistic vision. Don't compromise your creative integrity for the sake of commercial success, right? It's easy to do that. Trust your instincts and create films that reflect your unique perspective and passion. Trust your instincts and create films that resonate with your creative vision. So when I was first starting out, I legit said yes to every opportunity I could get as I was still creating my own, you know, random passion videos. That way I was able to build up my skills, enhance my creative eye, learn as I went, and really discover 
who I am and am becoming as a filmmaker. As I continue building, I've started to become more intentional with projects and saying no to those that actually really don't fill up my soul. At this point, by staying true to me, I'm committed into collaborations and projects that I wanna do and feel strongly about rather than those I feel like I need to do and then end up dragging my feet along the way. I'd rather be 100% passionate about the idea behind the collaboration than to be 50% and then half-ass the whole work because that has my name on it as well and I wanna be able to produce the best quality possible. Lastly, but not really lastly, because there's so many things I wish I knew when I first started, is to be your biggest fan. Like, I had Jamal ask the questions and I kind of felt discouraged because I was like, dang, like I can't even ask questions. And it was like tough. I was like, at that time I was like, damn, am I even like fit for a director if I couldn't even ask like questions? Like I just mentioned, imposter syndrome is such a real thing and it takes mental strength and inner work to really understand and know yourself as a creator and believe that you are doing the best that you can and that you will become the greatest. So I say this time and time again because it's easy for us to be our own biggest critics, but what if we fall in love with everything that we do regardless of the expected outcome? Honestly, I used to beat myself up for not doing better than I should have and it sucked and it's gonna suck and that is okay. And that's what I wanna share with you that it is okay that we put ourselves down in these moments, but this is why I'm sharing these tips with you is that way you could become a better creative. Along the way, you start to learn and develop the strength to fall in love with your work because the point of practice is to learn along the way and to understand that after each project you do, you will gain the skill that you once used to put yourself down about. I honestly think that is the biggest thing I wish someone told me and reminded me is that it is okay to criticize yourself. It is okay to have imposter syndrome, but to be your biggest fan no matter what. That no matter how down I got on myself about something that I'm still learning, that I will do better next time, that I did the best I could in the moment, especially at the level I was at. That is one thing that can truly make or break your creative journey is our mental health is so important. So be your biggest fan, even in the moments you critique yourself and your work. Try to find that spark when you're trying, when you're telling yourself, ah, it's not good enough. Switch it around and be like, I'm doing the best I could. I will do better at the next project because I am learning. Be your biggest believer and everyone will see that in you and the craft that you produced. Remember, becoming a great filmmaker is a continuous journey of learning, exploration, and self-discovery. Embrace the process, be persistent, and never stop honing in on your craft. Most importantly, have fun and enjoy the journey and the opportunity to share your stories with the world. As always, I hope you took something away from this video and that you keep those tips in mind, especially if and when you're starting out. If I could go back in time and change any of my experiences, I really truly wouldn't because the ups, the downs, the good, bad, happy, sad, you know, the moments where I wanted to give up, all have brought me to this moment and made me who I am today. So don't give up. Use your weaknesses and practice. Be your biggest fan and don't stress about a moment that is actually helping you grow. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications on because you already know we're coming in hot with some fire content as always. Well, remember this, be great. Go out and create, have fun, and know that you're doing the best that you can. And I'm super excited for where your journey will take you. I'll see y'all at the next video. Peace.